Hello everyone, welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at The Mark of Athena, Chapter 20, finishing Annabeth's uh, little section here. It starts off with the new civil war of demigods fighting demigods all over Fort Sumter. And uh, Frank is turned into an elephant, and he's like knocking Roman soldiers around. Leo is like ducking and moving and like shooting fire at the eagles that are trying to catch him. Jason is fighting um, the centurion that likes to drink Kool-Aid a lot, and he knocks him on the head, and he fall he falls asleep. And Annabeth is running around and dodging and. She's doing all of this and hiding between the people. And she's like, Jason, get everyone to the boat and retreat. And Jason's like, what about you? He's like, don't worry about me. Just go. And so she's running around and Jason uh, gathers the rest of the guys. And Annabeth jumps into like a kind of closet area, or a small room. And she's just, okay, I need to catch my breath. And suddenly... All of these spiders start to swarm around the walls. And, well, actually, there's like this warm feeling and this wind moving. She's like, I'm going to leave. And the door slams shut. And then suddenly she uh, starts to think about her past of when she was little, around seven years old. When she'd go into bed, all these spiders would come out of her closet and then come up on her bed. And she'd go, ah! And her stepmom would come and be like, what is it? She's like, there's spiders everywhere. And there's nothing. And the stepmom didn't believe her. And then Annabeth just tried to hide herself under her blankets. And then she eventually fell asleep. And when she woke up, there were spider bites all over her body. And there were cobwebs in her eyes and mouth. And when she woke up, she tried to tell her stepmom, but the bites healed very quickly, probably because her demigod blood. And then she tried to show her the cobwebs, but the stepmom thought it was some kind of trick. The second night, it happened again. The third night, she ran away from home. And that's a little bit of that story is in the first series, um, but she just kind of gives more detail into it here. So she's in this room. And all these spiders start to swarm around the walls and down on the floor. And she remembers of that when she was little. And she's always been afraid of spiders since then. And uh, she's just like starting to freak out a little bit. And Gaia starts to say, sleep, little one. You will be in the um, spider mother's hand soon, something like that. And Annabeth is like, Gaia, is that you? And she's like, yes. I wish you were my sacrifice, but I have to give you to the Spider Queen because she needs her revenge too. And the spiders are just about ready to capture Annabeth when suddenly a glowing, burning owl shines on the wall and goes and burns all the spiders. And Annabeth sees the mark of Athena. And the door is bursts open and Annabeth runs out and oh 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 she's safe she had forgotten about her friends because she'd gotten so much into her fear but when she gets out she smells the sea air and she remembers her friends and she starts thinking oh my goodness where am I gonna go what am I gonna do um, I need to find the map and she tries to think about what the children of Athena would have done with this map where they would have hidden it and uh, she sees this glowing, glowing metal, and she runs towards it, and it's a mortar. A mortar is like a cannon that they use um, to shoot um, things far away, like a cannonball or metal or whatever. I have a picture of it in the vocabulary, but it's a kind of old technology. And so Annabeth's kind of looking at this thing, and the Mark of Athena's glowing, and she's trying to open it up some part where you put the gunpowder and it, it's too stuck on there with her fingers so she takes out her dagger and she touches it and it just goes Whoo! it just shrinks like she doesn't need to use it or anything it's like some kind of magic and she just kind of pulls it off she runs around in there and she finds a small disc she can't 
look at it right now. There's no time. She puts it in her backpack. She turns to go back. Uh-oh. There's Reyna and her two wolves or dogs. Can't remember what they are. Metal dogs. Yeah. And uh, Reyna looks angry. Well, she looks cold. Not angry. She just looks cold like a warrior. And Annabeth's like, Reyna, you have to let me through. And Reyna explains that um, if Annabeth um, doesn't surrender, then Octavian is going to go to war against Camp Half-Blood. Someone has to pay. And it's better for Annabeth to get caught, to die, to be tortured, and then maybe she can have peace. But if she doesn't get someone, then they're going to destroy Camp Half-Blood. <clears throat> And so, and Raina's like, it's either you, Annabeth, or it's Camp Half-Blood. Of course, Annabeth can't choose. And she just said, Raina, there, there's a way. There's a way we can have peace. I'm going to follow the mark of Athena. It's going to be okay. And Raina says, no. No, that's impossible. And she's like, we have to trust me. We can try. We can do this. And for some reason, Raina decides, okay, I'm going to let you go. But we're going to march on Camp Half-Blood. I hope you're right. And so she run, she allows Annabeth to run off. And it's really cool here um, as she kind of convinces um, Reyna that she can, that she can accomplish this. She looks over and sees Piercy and Jason. And Piercy and Jason's swords are crossed. And they're using their power together to control the sea and to control the air to fight the Roman soldiers and to fight the eagles. And they're coming together, son of Poseidon, son of Zeus or Neptune and Jupiter, but also Roman and Greek. They're working together for the same cause. And Anna like, I can't succeed as she sees this. She runs away. She gets on the ship and they take off and they're off on their adventure following the mark of Athena. Vocabulary. So the first one here is tarantula. Now, a tarantula is a, a really big spider. I, I don't know if it's actually a spider, um, but, but they're really huge, and they certainly look like spiders. They might be like in the same family, but a little bit different. But they're big, hairy, ugly. Oh, okay, sorry. You might think they're pretty. I'm sure there's some that look a little cute. The little baby ones, they actually look pretty cute. But, um, but they can be freaky. And that's a tarantula. And uh, someone put a tarantula on, oh, no, uh, not on, in Annabeth's bed. And she almost killed that person for that. A mortar, um, here's a picture of it. I explained it a little bit. It's a cannon that they used a long time ago to shoot out cannonballs or metal or whatever at the enemy. And uh, that's where Annabeth kind of looks and finds um, that disc in one of these things. The last one here is a gangplank, which I think we talked about before, but it's a kind of um, bridge for a boat to go to the dock. And you can kind of move it, adjust it, and you can pull it back. And that's called a gangplank. And Annabeth runs up the gangplank and jumps onto the boat, and the gangplank falls away. Discussion question. Have you ever had a scary moment where your parents didn't believe you. Did you ever have, oh, sorry, the <laughs> question here, I always type it so fast, but have you ever had a scary moment in your life, probably when you were a young kid, something scary happened, but your parents didn't believe you? Okay, you can think of like Annabeth, right? She's in her bed, she sees all these spiders, she calls for her stepmom, her stepmom comes in, doesn't see anything. And Annabeth says, no, it's true, there are spiders everywhere. But her stepmom didn't believe her. And this was really scary for Annabeth. Okay, probably you didn't have something quite like that, but you know, some small situation where that happened and you, you still remember it. You felt it was real. Maybe now you realize it wasn't, but at least then it was scary. Of course, please make your own discussion question. That is all the time that we have for today, but thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hey. If you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. 
And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.